We've seen a variety of robots at this exhibition. The tallest one, Olivia, stands at nearly 1.7 meters tall, along with larger ones like the muscle suit and the active walker. But how about these little darlings? First, we have NEC's Papiro. Papiro stands for Partner Type Personal Robot. Since 1987, Improvements have been made to this personal robot that is a crowd pleaser. What can this robot do? You know, what's so special about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To entertain the persons. Also, the, yes, they're speaking and it has an eye and it can recognize the persons and it can talk and they are corresponding to each other. And also, they can do a uh, response by the many sensors it's provided. If you touch head or shoulders, they will respond and they are sometimes singing a song or something dancing. Yeah. So how many languages can the robot understand? Yeah, basically it is uh, understand several four or five languages, but they uh, are mainly in Japanese. Here is a glimpse of what Papiro can do. Hello. <laughs> He's so shy. <laughs> dance して. Let's dance. Is dancing. Another adorable robot on display was Toshiba's Apuri Poco. It's still a work in progress and not available in the mass market. During the demonstration, Apuri Poco showed us how it could control electrical appliances in a household. Turn off the TV. Turn on the TV. Be it cute and little or large in size, it's amazing how these inventions will begin to play a bigger role in our lives. Though Singapore's robotic scene hasn't come close to what you see in movies or even in Japan, it's assuring to know that every day, progress is made, step by step, to improve the lives of our aging population. Let's just hope robots don't take over the world!